Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Artillery has four core missions in modern battle space. Suppression of enemy fires or counter battery fires, striking high value targets, breaking up enemy forces concentration and providing fire support for maneuver warfare. Indian Army at present operates nearly 410 Bofors gun, 70 M777 Ultra Light Wizards, 100 K9 Vazra, and 180 Sharang 155mm artillery. In total, 760 of these guns. Additional 75M777 and 300 Sharang guns are also in production, taking total 2135 155mm artillery guns. MOD is also working on additional order of 200 K9 Vajras. But is this number sufficient? The answer is no. Considering the two front war scenarios, India needs more of these guns. They are going to be game changer weapon in mountain warfare. We know that Dhanush, which is a Desi Bofors gun, has been troubled child since its incubation. Since April 2019, when the production of this gun started, only 12 of them were built, which is far below the 18 guns plus two in reserve required to make a full regiment. OFB had an initial order of 114 guns to be executed. While the army is satisfied with the guns in terms of firepower and mobility, it has flagged multiple concerns regarding the production quality. Dhanush was being manufactured by gun carriage factory in Madhya Pradesh, Jabalpur, which comes under the erstwhile state-run OFP. After integrated firing checks, issues have cropped up with regards to hydraulics, sight and even mounting in some cases. There were 3 to 4 instances of muzzle brake hit when the shell has hit the upper part of barrel instead of flying off. This incident happened when the gun was fired with zone 6 charge. Charge refers to the quantity of ammunition filled in the artillery shell. The zone 6 charge means that artillery is filled with maximum charge to achieve maximum range. Back in November, it was reported that Dhanush has successfully completed the firing of artillery with zone 6 charge without hitting the upper part of the barrel. This was major hurdle which gun hath crossed. However, it still had to undergo few more trials to ensure the safety and reliability of the gun. Now, as per the latest update from Manish Prasad from India TV, Dhanush has cleared second line firing at Pokhran firing range on Tuesday and they are ready for deployment. Second line of firing means the firing of guns through ammunition replacement of 45 rounds each continuously. Two Dhanush guns fired 90 rounds each flawlessly as part of second line of firing in zone 6 at the Pokhran firing range. Now Dhanush is all set to be inducted into Indian Army and no more further trials are needed. After the corporatization of OFP, the manufacturing of Dhanush has come under Advanced Weapon and Equipment of India Limited AWEIL headquartered in Kanpur. It will be manufactured by AWEIL at its gun cash factory Chabalpur. Back in September 2021, AT AGS had completed its summer trial before it has completed the test at an altitude of 13,000 feet in Sikkim, a new world record which no other 155mm gun has reached. However, it was reported that ATGS has failed on few parameters. DRDO was working on making those changes for the next set of trials. There was inconsistency in overall performance of the gun when firing was conducted in June last year. The gun has cleared the mobility trials but faced issues with auto ammunition loading bridge opening operations. As per the latest report from the print, ATAGS is all set for its final trial this month post which it will pave the way for induction of ATAGS into the Indian Army. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. 
Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.